Hey guys, what is up? This is Harry Talks Movies and TV, and this is my non spoiler review for Spider Man No Way Home. I'm going to start off by saying this movie is absolutely incredible. I'm, I saw it last night, and I'm still in shock of how amazing it was, how much I loved it. Oh my god, I'm not going to get into details, but I think, as of now, this is probably my favourite MCU movie. It's definitely the best Spider-Man movie they've done, in my opinion. Just my opinion. Everyone's got their own opinion. This is my opinion. This is definitely the best Spider-Man movie they've done, like, out of all of them. And this is my favourite MCU movie, as of now. My opinion could change in like four days. I'm not like, yeah, maybe I'm, I'm I'm like fresh out. You know, I saw it last night. I could change my mind tomorrow, the next day, whatever. Because it's you know it's got to sit for a bit. It's got to marinate in my brain. And yeah, I got to. Oh, but I'm so pumped. I'm, oh my god, it was amazing. It was such a beautiful Spider-Man story. It just fit. It, it sort of reshaped the way we see Tom Holland's Spider-Man because his last two movies are like. They're, they're cute little movies, you know, they're really, really good. I love both of them as last movies. Um, but they, they can't be, you know, they're sort of like safe little Spider-Man movies. This one is insane. The stakes are so much higher. It's like, it's like the, the director recently said this is like Spider-Man Endgame. And I was like, mm, how can I really be Spider-Man Endgame? And now I know what he means. It's insane. This movie is absolutely insane. It was emotional. It was fun, it was funny, it was dark. It's, John Watts has nailed it. He's done such an amazing job. I can't wait to see what he does with Fantastic Four because he's gonna be the one directing that and I can see why they chose him to direct it because this movie is incredible. I'm just still in shock. Like I feel empty now that I, I've already seen it. I'm gonna go see it again now that I've already seen it and the hype is gone, but the hype is still here because the movie was incredible. Oh my god, I cried. There was one moment in the movie, and it wouldn't be where you expected, but there's one moment in the movie where I, like, not cried, but, you know, I got teary-eyed because it was emotional. And, oh my god, the villains in this movie are so good. I'm a little bit... There's only one little criticism, and it's that, it's that they only had five villains. It's supposed to be the Sinister Six. They were so close. They just one more villain, and they could have had it, but they didn't, and that's okay. I don't blame him for that. It didn't really take anything away from the movie. It's sort of just, yeah. I, it's a, it's a non-issue. It's just my one little criticism. I can't think of any other criticisms. I honestly don't know what I didn't like about this movie, other than there was one moment, like throughout the whole movie, like I like I had to go to the toilet really. I had to go to the toilet really bad, and I was thinking, okay, I don't want to go to the toilet because I don't want to miss this. I don't want to, you know. And then after the bit happened where I was going to go to the toilet, I was like, oh yeah, I could have gone to the toilet. I could have gone to the bathroom then. It was, yeah, there's one moment where you can go to the bathroom. And if you watch the movie, you'll know what it is. It's just a lot of talking and a lot of saying the same thing for about like three minutes. They just talk about the same thing for three minutes and it doesn't really progress. That's my only, not even a criticism. It's just like, yep, there's a moment where you can go to the bathroom if you need it. It didn't take anything away from the movie at all. It was just, ah, oh, it's incredible. And Doctor Strange's song, the visuals, oh my god, the visuals in the mirror. Oh, okay, I'm not going to talk about it, but uh, this was. I'm not going to get into details, but this was just incredible. Doctor Strange had such an awesome role in this movie, and oh god, it was just incredible. I can't, I still can't believe how great it was, man. My theater, there was two moments where my theater fucking roared. They cheered. I've never seen them do that. I live in Australia. That doesn't happen. It's the only time, other than Endgame, there was one moment in Endgame when they did, and it was when Cap picked up the hammer. They cheered twice in this movie, it was so loud, I got goosebumps throughout my whole body, it was an incredible experience, and I'm legit going to remember this for the rest of my life. Oh my god, yeah, this is my favourite MCU movie. It's just so amazing, Tom Holland is just fantastic. I honestly, he wasn't my favourite Spider-Man before this, but he might be now. Before this movie, I still... Mm, well, I'm sort of in the unpopular thing. I don't know if I have a favourite Spider-Man. I love all three of them. But now Tom Holland might be. After this movie. And it just, yeah. Oh, God. And I like how at the end of... I'm, actually, I'm not going to talk about the end. 
I just, yeah, it was really, it was a beautiful, emotional uh, movie. I love the... I love the relationship between MJ and Peter. Like, that was a really strong point of the movie. Um, you know, everyone was funny. Ned was funny, happy. Oh, it was just... Oh, I'm still in shock. It was just incredible. This isn't really a review. This is just me spouting out, finally getting to talk about it. You know, like, putting on my channel. It's just, oh, my God. It's just me mumbling at this point. It was incredible. Did, Tom Holland is a fantastic actor. Like, I haven't seen him in much else. I, I saw him in Chaos Walking, which was an awful movie. I really didn't like that. But Tom Holland is a terrific actor. I, oh, my God. I can't wait to see what... He was going to be in something something that's coming up that he's going to be in a current reward. Uh, Uncharted. I can't wait to see Uncharted. So that's going to be really good. Because of Tom Holland. Oh, this movie's incredible. And the post credit scenes, make sure you say there's two of them. Make sure you say stay for both of them the last one, especially the last one, especially, oh my god, alright guys, well, it's, it's, I'm just going to end this now, because I'm just rambling at this point, the movie's incredible, it's a 10, right now, um, 10 out of 10, I don't know, I don't usually, I don't usually give 10 out of 10, maybe a 9.5, I think, um, I don't want a decimal, alright, I'm going to round it up to 10 out of 10. This movie was a 10 out of 10. The hype is real. This movie exceeded my expectations. It is crazy. It's absolutely amazing. I did not expect to love it this much. Oh, it was beautiful. Anyway, guys, I'm going to stop talking because I just won't shut up if I keep talking. All right, guys, um, that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, like and subscribe and let me know your thoughts on the movie if you've already seen it down in the comments and also I'm going to be doing a spoiler review like a spoiler talk where I just you know ramble about it and talk about all spoilers and stuff for a good while so yeah I'll be doing that video so look out for that and I'll see you guys in the next one bye